Hearty, hearty, hearties, and welcome to a mod spotlight. I've never done a mod spotlight before, so tell me in the comment section below what you think. If you think it's good or if you think it's bad, do it with likes and dislikes and comments of positivity and negativity. Some way, just I just want to know what's good and what's bad and what you want to see so I can do it better than I did now. Uh, but hopefully it will be good anyways. What I will try to do is give you a brief explanation of what this mod is in as short as time as possible so that you can find out more of yourself that is why we call it a spotlight so hopefully this will be less than five minutes long hopefully shorter than that let's start what this mod is trying to achieve and successfully doing so extremely successfully i've never seen i've, I've i was amazed at how good this is is to give you a chance to hack an entire ship if you have absolute control if there is an enemy fighting over the ship, you will not succeed. Uh, or if there is an en enemy defending his ship, then you will not succeed. So uh, that is why there is two blocks. There is the attack hacking computer and the defend firewall computer. We'll start to give you a little explanation of how the hacking computer works. And here we go. This is how it looks. Very beautiful indeed. Once every second, it, w it will pick a random enemy block so one of these red axis to the night blocks it will pick a random one and try to hack it the chance of success is determined by the amount of computers more computers means that it is harder to hack so a uh, one in five chance it means that the air vent has five computers uh, but it also means that you have about a 20 percent chance of success the hacking computer in itself has a hundred computers which means that you have a one percent chance of success so that's a one in a hundred and if it succeeds, it gives off this green light and ticks, and if it fails, it's the orange light. And if the entire grid is taken over, it has a constant blue glow. So if we go inside and give this over to the pirates, and give everything over to pirates, we'll see everything is owned by the pirates. So now the computer is this blue light. So we'll do one thing here, and that is tell you how the firewall works. So we place a firewall here. And we give it over to the pirates, because this is the pirate side, the red side is for pirates, the green side is for my stuff. So the pirates now have a firewall, and I will try to hack this system. So it tries to hack, and you will see that the firewall is starting to flash orange. And that is because the way the firewall works is it has a thousand computers, which means a one in a thousand chance, also called 0.1%. But it also forces any enemy hacking computers to target it. So you have to bring down the firewall first before you can hack something else. Now you can place more of both hacking and firewall computers. You can have more firewalls, you can have more hacking computers. But basically the only way you will successfully hack a ship that has firewalls is if you manually yourself hack it and take it over. Or if you just plain destroy it with rockets or something like that. So you can't just place these guys and hack their ship. So it's very easy to defend against this type of hacking. And it's pretty hard to successfully do it unless you have absolute control and can in a calmless go around and take out all of these firewall blocks. And that is all I have for you today. If you want to learn more about how this works, it really isn't that much more because it's a very simple mod. Uh, then check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then tell me in the comment section below. And if you didn't, as I said in the beginning, do the opposite. Just I want to know. I want feedback, a lot of it. And if you want to give it to me, I would be really happy. And I shall see you. The next time.